that one? Alright, this is how I have you do. Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't. Okay, I'm gonna have you step out. Alright, okay, okay. Hey, we're trying. And the reason why is because, let me ask you a question. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I just got my car searched. Do you or no? No, sir. Okay. My car why smell does your car smell like marijuana? It doesn't, sir. It does. There's there's a reason why I'm asking, man. It's not my first day, okay? Well, this is what I'm going to tell you, okay? As long as you're cool, you stay cool, I'll be cool back. Fair enough. I don't care. I don't care about a little bit of pot. I'm not, I'm not looking to jam you, my, my man. I promise you, okay? This is what I want you to do. I want you to be completely... I'm of cops, bro. No, 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 no. Stop. No, I, I, have I been disrespectful at all? No, but I literally just went through this last night, like two nights ago. Why did you get searched the other night? The same reason you guys say my car smells like weed, and I, 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 don't, I don't smoke in my car. Okay. It might be me, but I don't smoke in my car, sir. What you doing? Is there a marijuana on this vehicle, yes or no? No, no, there's not. Now is your chance to tell me. Because if, if you're honest with me, I will work with you. Don't, don't reach, man. Don't reach. Just relax. Relax. Right here. I, okay. No, no shit. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else in there? No, sir. Okay. Hop on out for me now. I don't want to hop out the car. You don't have a choice. We just got hit with the car. Well, here's the deal. I, 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 I can, yeah. And I, and I can understand that. You know, there's no doubt. No, Mr. Mid, I, Mr. Mid, I, I, I believe honestly. In our community, there are various reasons why we run from police, no doubt. And they are real reasons, whether it's East Cleveland or the stuff we see all over the country, no doubt about it. But I'm just thinking at some point, and I'm not even going to diminish it at all. I, I just want to say whatever you need to do to deal with that. And, and I'm not, you know, I'm not a doctor, but there's some trauma there. But what you don't want to do is end up killing yourself. You know what I mean? Like going 80 miles. If, if it's true, that's just dangerous to you. Like whatever they did. Right, that, that's caused this issue in your life, and it's serious, it's a real issue, but don't let it end your life by what you're doing now. You see what I'm saying? We gotta figure out, okay, when I'm done with this, let me go see if I can talk to that judge, let me see what resources I can get, because they caused me some trauma, but I don't want that to be the way I end up dying because I'm constantly running from police doing 90, 100 miles per hour because I'm, because I'm legitimately afraid of them. So we gotta deal with that, you know what I mean? So that you can continue to live and make that something that's a testimony where you help other young people so that they don't do the same thing. But I'm not even gonna at all diminish why you do it because there are many reasons, whether it's East Cleveland or across this country to have problems with police, but don't let it be a cause of your life ending. You know what I'm saying? But we could talk, I mean, again, I had you on probation. You would have been working with me in a capacity earlier. Once you get past this other stuff, if you need some, you need somebody to talk to, you want to come and talk to one of my bailiffs, my probation officer, where we can all sit down and, you know, and figure out things for you, I'm willing to do that. But obviously, you got to get past this other stuff first. So what I'm going to do on your 2014 case, honestly, is I'm going to close it out, period. Um, you had entered a plea of no contest. There's a fine of $300, right? You owe me that, but you don't. What I'd rather see you do is get through this other stuff, get your life back on track, Come and talk to us about these fines and costs. If you're doing a good job and getting on a different track, I'll vacate that balance. You know what I'm saying?